Hello, in a previous video, I introduced you to Hooke's Law and we briefly looked at some force extension graphs. In this video, I'm going to delve a little bit deeper into the features of a force extension graph. Here we have exactly one of these. As you can see, it has a straight line, which means it is demonstrating elastic behavior. And the first thing we should note about this graph is that the gradient represents F divided by X, the change in F divided by the change in X here. And we know from our equation F equals KX, that F of X is equal to K or the force constant. So you should be able to look at a force extension graph and determine from the gradient the force constant of the graph. Remember, the force constant is a measure of stiffness. Therefore, a line with a lower gradient, such as this one, will have a lower force constant and therefore a lower stiffness. The second feature of a force extension graph is related to the area underneath it. The area under a force extension graph is equal to the elastic potential energy stored in the spring. As you can see, the, the more force is applied or the more, more extension that the spring undergoes, the greater the stored energy within that spring or within that material. You'll see here that underneath this straight line graph, the area is a triangle. And the equation for working out the area of a triangle is half times the height, which in this case is the force, multiplied by the base, which is x. So we have our first equation for elastic potential energy, half fx. However, we often substitute our first equation there, f equals kx, into this equation, replacing f with kx, which gives us our second equation for elastic potential energy, which is half kx squared. You can see there, all we've done is replace the f with kx to give us half kx squared. And that's our equation for elastic potential energy. 